you. Um, Ms. Crawford, you gave a very spirited testimony, spoke to some facts um, as relates to uh, particularly black residents of the district being um, adversely impacted by uh, poverty, not just poverty, but access to housing. Um, can you give me um, more detail about the lack of targeting compliance due to not enough operating subsidies? Sure. Uh, thank you for your question, Councilmember White. Um, as the panel before me said, the Housing Production Trust Fund requires that operating sub subsidies through the local rent supplement program are paired um, with that program. And in the past, uh, if you look at page two, we have a chart. Uh, the district typically hasn't paired LRSP with HPTF. So while HPTF, which was at 100 million for four years, and then last year, as you guys know, um, it increased to 116 million. Prior to FY 2020, LRSP was never funded enough to um, increase the amount that went to operating dollars, which helps developers be able to keep those units affordable, so okay. it's not a tenant voucher. Um, but this last year was the first time that the district provided adequate support for that, so um, based on just our estimates, it's enough money to hit the old targeting requirement, but going forward, more do, needs to Do you have an idea specifically what that number may look like? Um, based on estimates for going into the new fiscal year, so 2020, it's a little over 40%. Um, we haven't seen the numbers from DHCD to be able to see what they did in FY 2019 yet, but that, based on my really rough estimates, I don't believe they'll hit the 40% goal um, for FY 2019. And going forward, if, let's say, the district funds the HBTF at $250 million, then they would need we would need $25 million in LRSP tied to projects to be able to match the 50% goal. Okay. Thank you.